Hey, Hofstra fans, welcome inside the WMSN Coach Report here on GoHofstra.com. I'm Tom Brady, joined by the head coach of the Hofstra men's across team, Seth Tierney. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tom. Now, coach, your team had a pair of games this past week. Started off on Tuesday against Dartmouth, a 9 to 5 victory at home. What did you see from your team in that one? Yeah, I thought we did a good job, uh, you know, kind of bouncing back, uh, playing well. Uh, I thought that Dartmouth did a, you know, a, they do some funky stuff and uh, that we had to prepare for it in a very short amount of time. But I thought the guys did a good job of, of finishing the ball and handling some, some things that we don't see every day. Uh, I thought the, those guys did a good job handling that. Uh, John Antonitis uh, picked up a leg injury against Tazen, but came back and won 9 to 14 faceoffs. How big was he in that game? Yeah, it was huge. We didn't know if he was going to play. And uh, you know, he basically had a little bit of a sprained knee, and he had a brace on and, um, just for precautionary reasons. And, uh, and then we kept him out for, uh, for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday's practice so that he'd be ready for St. Joe's. And uh, you know, it, it turned out to be a pretty good move because he played pretty well against St. Joe's. Now, the scoring, most of it against Dartmouth, came from your attack line. Michael DiNapoli, career high four goals. Lancey Four with three goals. Uh, talk about what you saw from the attack line. Yeah, I mean, that's the way it should be. Uh, those guys should be able to put the ball in the goal. And then we get some middies that can draw some slides. And uh, we make the, uh, the, the easy one mores. I would have liked to have had more than nine versus Dartmouth. But you know, I thought their goalie played pretty well. Um, you know, he's a, a water bug that jumps around a little bit and plays a little unorthodox at times. He's uh, playing outside the crease and cutting down some angles like an ice hockey goalie. Um, and, uh, you know, we ended up missing the goal a little bit. But uh, we, were, uh, we, 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 did, we did okay overall. Um, it, it, was a, it was a good way to fight back. Now your team was out to a 4 nothing lead in that game, led 6-2 at the half. What has it been about your team early on in games that you've really come out and, and beat a lot of teams out of the gate? Yeah, I mean, that part of it has been a, a, lay, a ray of hope and, and light. Um, you know, we, uh, we're 6-5. and five. We've gotten out to some early leads and have been great. Uh, you know, the frustrating part is we've got these five losses. And, uh, you know, I'll give you the Princeton loss. And the other ones, you know, those four one-goal losses and a couple of them in overtime. And, you know, uh, we're, we're just close. And uh, it's, been, uh, it's been trying. And I give our guys credit. We, uh, you know, we've, we've come out, we've practiced hard. And uh, they know that they've got three unbelievable opportunities coming down the road. One, obviously, and coming up here with North Carolina uh, on Saturday. Um, but we're going to take them one at a time. And, uh, and, the, and the guys have done a really good job of just trying to get better every day. Then on Saturday, your team had uh, St. Joseph's Senior Day. Uh, what, what were the emotions like for your team before going into that one? Senior Day is always uh, you know, a mix of emotions in the locker room. Uh, you know, nobody's got tears in their eyes. but. You know, you, you start to think about that guy that walked up to you when you were a freshman and said, hey, you know, why don't you come by uh, my house and, uh, you know, tonight and uh, let's play some video games or let's do something. Or, you know, what classes are you in? And, and they've, they, they, they've just kind of made an impact on them somewhere off the lacrosse field and as well as on the lacrosse field. So, uh, you know, our tradition is, is somewhere take a Sharpie and put a senior's number either on a shoe or on a piece of tape or a helmet. And, and play really hard for him. And uh, you know, and then one day when you're a senior, uh, hopefully your number's on a lot of shoes or helmets, and, and you need to make an impact on, on the next person down the line. And that's been the tradition of Hofstra Pros. And again, our team off to a fast start, four goals, and I believe it was the first four minutes, and a big senior helping out on three of those, Michael DiNapoli, another great start. Michael's doing a good job. He's feeling comfortable. You know, when we get him comfortable, it's good. We like to get him a little bit more comfortable early on in the season. But, you know, you can't rewind and we can't go back. So now it's time to, uh, to push forward. And, uh, and we're looking forward to, you know, three really big games out of him. Uh, but, yeah, it was great to see him. Uh, you know, I think he scored two goals and had an assist in the first three points. And we got up to 4 nothing, and then we got, you know, they, they scored one. And, you know, after that, they kind of stymied us a little bit. And uh, I think we went in 6-3 or 7-3 at half. Um, and then they made a little run at us, you know. Uh, this time, we, you know, I think, you know, threw some man up. We kind of we kind of got a couple on man up and, and killed the momentum a little bit. And ended up, you know, 13-9. I, I, always happy when the numbers get to the teens. Uh, we weren't really thrilled with number being at 9. But, uh, you know, we'll get back at it. And, and again, you know, a W is a W. And, we need a lot more of those. Now, John Antonidis, another dominating day at the face-off X, winning 19 of 25. Did you think uh, you guys should have had a few more, or, or the score should have been a little bit different? John thought he should have more. You know, that's the way John thinks. He's uh, he's, he's he's one of those competitors. But uh, 19 of 25, and I think that out of the six he lost, three may have been violations on him, where it's an automatic loss and he's got to run off the field. So uh, you know, if we can control ourselves a little bit, that's going to be a huge a huge part of the game as we uh, as we head down to Carolina in Charlotte. Um, because they, you know, the RG Keenan is a is a wonderful faceoff guy down there. So that's going to be a big big component, and I'm uh, I'm thrilled that John's playing with some uh, some confidence as we head south. 
So you mentioned it, a game this weekend coming up against North Carolina Tar Heels at the Warrior Classic. Uh, just what is it like playing at, at another big event here for Hopfield Cross? Yeah, it's great. I mean, listen, you know, uh, when I was here as an assistant coach, um, you know, these events really didn't come around, and you didn't you didn't get a chance to play in these events. And now all of a sudden, to, to think that we have the first victory ever in the new Meadowlands a couple of years ago, and we're two and zero in the Meadowlands. And uh, you know we're going to be playing up in Foxborough in a couple of weeks, and now we're playing down, you know, down here in Charlotte in a, in a great event and a, well, against an unbelievable opponent. And uh, right after Rutgers is playing Syracuse, so it's going to be a great crowd down there. Um, you know, I'm excited for our guys. These are these are memory makers, and uh, we got to be in it to uh, to win it here. They already mentioned it. R.J. Keenan, one of the best faceoff men in the country, and he helps uh, get the ball to a very talented offense, a strong attack in midfield. Uh, what do you see from the Tar Heels? Yeah, I mean, I think that you know, certainly winning the ball is going to be huge. Uh, time of possession is going to be important. We're not going down there to hold the ball, but we got to make sure that we have it. Uh, that their attack is, is pretty talented and young. You know, when you talk about Bitter and you talk about Sankey and uh, a bunch of other guys, you know, they, you talk about a lot of guys that can play lacrosse down there. And, uh, you know, Coach Bresci does a great job recruiting, you know, one guy out, another guy steps up, and that's just the way it is. And, uh, you know, to his credit, he's done a great job. So we have, uh, uh, like I said, an unbelievable opportunity. Um, in the world of conference play, the game doesn't mean anything. But in the world of competing and getting a big win under your belt, this game means everything, and uh, we're certainly excited to be part of it. Well, they're a team that's been prone to a lot of turnovers in some games. What are you guys uh, planning to do to get them out of the rhythm? Yeah, I mean, look, we got we got to play together defensively. Uh, today was a hot day, and uh, you know, certainly tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be all you know picking apart a little bit what Carolina does and what we're going to do defensively and how we're going to attack them offensively and have John watch a little film on RG and, and make sure that we are, we're ready to go. And so, Coach, finally, uh, some keys to getting a win down in Charlotte at the Warrior Classic versus North Carolina. Yeah, I mean, have less unforced turnovers in them. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to be, uh, I, don't, I don't want to give you a, a snide remark, but I'd like to score one more goal than they do. Um, and uh, we just got to make sure that we clear the ball the first time, that we play loose. Um, you know, sometimes when you get that six and five, five and five record, some guys play a little tight. I don't want our guys to play tight. If they're watching this, I want them to play loose and uh, and, and let's play fast and uh, and let's have the ball a little bit. So let's go side. Let's go down there and have some fun. And anything you'll tell some of the younger guys about maybe their first event in a big stadium? Yeah, it's, it's game twelve. You know what I mean? It's uh, certainly you know once we'll, let's get them to touch the ball a little bit and uh, and we'll get it under their belt. All right, Seth Tierney, head coach of the Hofstra Men's Across team. Thanks for joining us inside of the Mason Coach Report on GoHofstra.com. Thanks, Tom.